and if it's actually gonna be as powerful as people think, or if they even have what they think it is, is. Definitely getting fired after that one. Hey everyone, Thornton Smash here, and today we're going to be talking about two very divisive topics in Apex Legends right now. One is going to be the upcoming store rotations, and there's a lot. There's the upcoming Urban Assault Collection event, and there's also going to be, you know, the Golden Week sale as well. But with that being said, Apex Legends is dealing with one of its hardest seasons so far in terms of the cheating issue, which, you know, Respawn might actually have some bigger issues that we didn't even know about. We're going to do all of that while we also give out one of the Cobalt Heirlooms. All you guys got to do is like, comment, subscribe, and you are entered for a chance to win, and a winner will be announced in tomorrow's video. But without further ado, let's jump into today's topic. So there's a very specific way I want to do this video today, and I think it's actually going to be a ton of fun, but I am interested to hear on what your guys' thoughts are on it down in the comments below. Let's go ahead and start with the brand new Tactical Trendsetter coming in for Conduit this morning. Along with that, the Sun Warrior will be returning, and it will be coming with the R99. And additionally, there is one last skin, and that is going to be a free Spitfire you can get for the April Fool's event. Now, all this is absolutely fantastic. However, in addition to some of these skins that you will have to buy in this, there was a recent issue with ALGS being hacked. Now, most of you know that Jen was the one who got hacked, and look, I'll go ahead and play the clip right here. Wait, what the f what the f I'm getting hacked, I'm getting hacked. But I know, I know, it's sure. Can you play the game? Bro, I I'm getting hacked. I know, but can you play? Can you play? Yeah, but it, I'm, it's cheating. The f no, I know, it's sure. I know, I know, I know. And what? Like, what? No, but is but it f***ing up your game? Yes, I can see everyone. Like, I'm... You need to leave, you need to leave, you need to leave. I, I didn't leave the game, right? Yeah, yeah, I'm game. leaving. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. It's like, what the? Oh, admin's down. Nick, admin's down. Nick, admin's down. Tell the admin's down. I, I left. Down. I left. Like, admin's down. <laughs> Restart your game. And rejoin. Oh no, you left the match. Did you close your game? Leave the match. I left. Jen, I had to leave. Did you leave the match? I have to. Yes, yeah, I have to. Yes, I have to. I have to leave. I left. Put, like, bro. <sighs> Now, as you can see, someone was able to infiltrate his and Imperial House system, and there are still no conclusive evidence on how this person was able to do it. There are some theories that were given up by another guy named Thor, great name by the way, along with some other people coming up with ideas, but EA has not given us a concrete answer. They did say that they are rolling out some updates that will make the players more secure, but then failed to actually broadcast to ALGS, the regional finals. We had to watch it the day afterwards, because I do believe they are still slightly worried about this guy. Now, after that, there was another update that was rolled out. They still didn't give us any concrete evidence that it is fixed yet, but we are moving on from that event or from ALGS, at least until we hear something concrete from Apex Legends. Now, after the April 2nd skins that we just went over, there's actually gonna be another store coming in and it's gonna be the Holly Pixel skins you see right here. These are featured for both Wraith Watson and Ash. It's very cool skins. It is important to remember, these are recolors. They are likely going to be, you know, the normal recolor price, but overall, these look absolutely fantastic. And I am excited to see these coming to the store. And I'm wondering if you guys are gonna buy them because now we're gonna go over to the second issue. And that was something Moist Waltzy, who plays for the Apex Legends esports team, Moist, actually went ahead and posted on Twitter the other day where this person admits to actually hacking on Discord to this person, Waltzy, and then says that they won't get banned for it, that they have some way around it. Go ahead, play the clip. So when they search my PC, they're gonna find nothing. Sorry. I mean, we can get you banned. We you, you realize I can get you banned if I clip this, right? Clip it. You act like you're the first one. What do you you think this is my main account? You think this is my first one? You ain't the first streamer I killed. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Watching you run around the map and then do that. Yeah, yeah. Alright, so what can you do? Come on. I'm, 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 I'm intrigued now, show me. What do you mean? Oh, aimbot? Yeah, I don't know, hit a one nah, real quick. I, I, nah, I can't. Cause if I do that, then uh, I can see that the they get the count gets lagged faster. So if I don't do hard aim, and I miss like I'm doing right now. Yeah, see? See, there's no way. No yeah, way! Tried. No way! No way! No way! Now, as you can see from that clip, that is a little bit of a concern for Apex Legends. How much control do they actually have when it comes to banning players? And why aren't these players getting hacked? Why aren't these players getting banned? They seem to be just running around, ranking up RP, 
and making the rank system a complete joke. And you know, it also happens in pubs as well. But anyways, let's go ahead and actually talk about more skins. On April 23rd, we will be getting a brand new collection event and it features some really cool skins. There's a awesome Vantage skin. You'll be able to see a Seer skin. Loba, it seems like the Loba fans are really, really not happy with this. It feels like they got ripped off by Wraith, who also has a really good skin. Of course, there will also be a Valkyrie one, a Rampart one, Newcastle, a Catalyst skin, a Horizon skin, an Epic Revenant skin, which I actually don't care that much for. And of course, if you buy everything in this event, you will get a $160 Octane Prestige skin, which does come with a rare slash heirloom finisher and skydive trail. There will also be a free prize tracker, so you'll be able to run this down and get it done with your friends. You'll be able to see all the skins on screen right here, credit to Hypermiss for all of them, but hopefully before this collection event comes out, they figure out what's going on with console with all the teamers and start getting them to get banned. Because I've already shown a couple in videos before, but the teamers are so unafraid of what Respawn or Apex Legends or EA is even doing, that they don't even hide their names anymore, and they'll just run around in game as a six-man team. Play the clip. I don't know how to fence. I got nasty plays. And Squixy. What up, Crack Bean? Yeah, that was a uh, top 300 Apex Predator teaming, and yet somehow there is no repercussion for doing so. But whatever, guys, we got more skins to talk about. Let's do it, because that's what this game is basically about now. We will have the Golden Week sale on April 30th. This will feature a really cool ballistic skin, which everyone corrected me is not Master Roshi. It is a character from Tekken. I'm sorry I don't play every single video game in the world. Now, along with that, there will also be this Cossack skin that you are seeing right here. And the Rev from the anime event is getting a recolor and will be available. And there will be these weapon skins to go with them, which is pretty cool. They match up. You know what I found really funny, though? Is Zeus of Amosis, who's a very popular YouTuber, says the anti-cheat is just for show at this point. It doesn't actually do anything. Kid is hard aimbotting and not getting banned, and the thousands are walling and not getting banned. Lulu Lovely herself has also ran into the issue as well, and they all show up tons and tons of clips. This is all after, of course, the whole gen getting hacked at ALGS with Imperial Howl. But hold on, guys. I've got one last store sale to tell you guys about, and this is coming on May 4th, and this features the Animal Instinct for Fuse, the Search and Destroy for Pathfinder, and the Eternal Rain Bundle for Axe. And this is gonna be the last door sale before we get the brand new season 21 And I'm really hoping that by the time this rolls around because that is a month away from today Respawn Apex Legends and EA have finally figured out how to make this game a little bit more secure because I did a tweet the other day as an early April Fool's joke and it literally said Apex Legends and EA CEO Andrew Wilson were recently asked about the plan to handle cheaters in six manners and ranked. Wilson's response, playing against cheaters is a core gameplay mechanic meant to give you a sense of pride and accomplishment. Also, we laid people off and have a new store event, so priorities. And my favorite response to this entire tweet was someone saying, is this real? The guy right below saying no. And then Scar Knuckles saying, sad thing is I even had to ask these days. And that truly is the state of Apex Legends. I don't mind that they have costly skins in a free to play game. That's how they make their money. But put that money back in to the life cycle of the game and fix the cheating issue because it has absolutely ruined any competitive integrity of this entire season. The new rank changes, absolutely fun. I think they're pretty good but it is busted that they have no way to stop any of these cheaters. Let me know down below, does the skins coming in excite you or do they not really matter because the game state right now with the cheating issue isn't really, you know, being taken care of seriously by Apex Legends, Respawn, or EA. Also, don't forget to check out this channel right here by my editor, Novell, who does a ton of amazing Apex Legends content. And until next time, Legends, keep slaying the Outlands. I'll see you out there.